Hey guitar players, it's Sean. Welcome to today's video. Um, I have received many messages over the last couple of weeks, people asking me about finger exercises, like what's the best kind to do? Um, where do I play it on the guitar? Do I do it on electric guitar or acoustic guitar? And anyway, I just wanna kinda of talk a little bit about finger exercises today. So what exactly is a finger exercise? I mean, really all it is is just a little thing that we make up to help solve a problem. And what I mean by that is um, playing guitar demands different kinds of configurations, contortions, uh, all sorts of things that we normally wouldn't do with our fingers. And we will occasionally run up against something that just, for whatever reason, gives us a hard time. And um, so the finger exercise, or some people call them like technique builders or technique busters, um, are great little things to do to help solve these problems. Now for today's video, I'm gonna show you two finger exercises and three variations of each exercise. And uh, each variation has its own unique challenges. And I have shown these exercises to literally hundreds of guitar students over my career. Okay, so let's get down to finger exercise number one. All right, finger exercise number one, the first variation. Um, I'm just gonna demonstrate it really quick here and then we'll, we'll talk it through. Um, so on each string that you play, you're gonna start with the open string. So if I'm on the first string, I'm gonna play it open. And then I'm gonna place my first finger on the first fret. And then I'll take that off and I'll put my second finger on the second fret, my third finger on the third fret, and my pinky, my fourth finger, on the fourth fret, and then I'm just kind of gonna go back the way that I came. So the whole thing, uh, the idea is we wanna do what we just did on our first string on each string. So in other words, open first, second, three, four, back to the third, to the second, to the first, and then open. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the second string, like this, and I know I'm going fast, I'm just demonstrating and then my third string, my fourth, my fifth, and finally my sixth string. All right, so that was the basic exercise. Um, so variation two is pretty much exactly the same thing, but this time we're gonna forego the open string. We'll just start from the first fret and we're gonna place everybody like first fret, second fret, three and four. But the difference this time is as we place our fingers, we're going to leave them on the frets that we had already played. See what I mean? So I'm not lifting these off and then moving to the next fret. I am leaving them on like this and then just kind of going back the way that I came, okay? And I will do that on each string. So second string, so first, second, three, four, leaving them on as I go like that. And then of course my third string, my fourth, my fifth, and finally down to my sixth string, trying to leave those on as I go. Okay, here we are, the third variation on exercise number one. Now, it's quite similar to the second variation whereby we are using first, second, three, and fourth finger. We're leaving them on as we go. But this time, instead of going back the way that we came, we're gonna do this. We're gonna go first, second, three, four, and leave them on. Now we're gonna repeat this on the second string, but here's the catch. We leave the fingers on the previous string until it's that finger's turn to move to the next string. See what I mean? So here I am on my third string. I'm gonna to go to my fourth string. So I move my first finger, but I leave the others where they are. And now my second finger my third and then bring it off, third string to the fourth string with the pinky, all the way down to my sixth string. All right, so now that I'm down on my sixth string, we've got to go all the way back to the first string. Now this exercise always begins with the first finger. So what's going on is, is here we are, so let's pretend we were just coming, coming down again, so we're on our fifth, fifth string to our sixth string to go back up I always start with my first finger. So one, two, three, four, one, two, and I'm going fast because I'm just demonstrating. And then one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, like that. 
Okay, so there's finger exercise number one and it's three variations. Uh, when you're doing these exercises, or any exercise really, try to relax your hand as much as possible. And um, if you're having a hard time, you know, reaching certain things, pay attention to maybe what your thumb is doing. Um, make sure that you're not like really, really gripping the guitar hard like, th like this, or your thumb is bent around or even kind of, I've seen, you know, I had a student that tried to play like this before and, and push with this part of his hand. Um, try to keep the hand as open and free to move as possible. Now, if you're enjoying this content, could you like and subscribe to the channel? That would help me out immensely and I really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much in advance. Um, I also have a newsletter that goes out every month and uh, the link is down below. All right, let's get on to exercise number two. All right, finger exercise number two, variation one. Uh, this exercise is about uh, dexterity and the way it's going to work is we're going to uh, team up. We're going to have groups of fingers. So we're going to use the first and second finger together and then our second and our third and then our third and our fourth together. And here's how it goes. So I start at my first fret with my first finger, just like this, and then I put my second finger on the second fret on the same string. Okay, just like that. And then what I'm gonna do is the same thing on my second string, and then my third, and then my fourth, my fifth, and my sixth. And then, to go back the way that it came. This one will start with, uh, we'll call it the lead finger, or in other words, the first finger in this case. First, second, first, second, first, second, one, two, one, two. All right, now we're going to move on to the next grouping of fingers, my second and my third, and we'll be at the second and third fret. Uh, it's this, exactly the same kind of thing. So we're gonna go second finger, third, Second, three, second, three, and I'm going kind of fast because I'm just demoing here. Second, three, second, three. Okay, and then, okay, and then back the way we came. Second, three, two, three, two, three, two, three, two, and three. Okay, and now I'm going to use my third and my fourth finger. Same kind of fashion, at my th uh, third and fourth fret. Third, fourth, three, four, three, four, and then back the way I came. Three, four, three, four, three, four, three, and four. Okay, so that's the first variation. All right, variation number two. Same kind of idea, we're using groupings of fingers, so I'm gonna start off with my first and second finger group. Um, now here's how it differs. What's going on is I am playing the first string, the first fret of my first finger. Now I'm going to use my second finger, but instead of putting it on the same string, I'm going to place it on the second string at the second fret. So in other words, first fret, first string, second fret, second string. And now what's gonna happen is this guy's gonna cross over and he's gonna do the third string, first fret, and then fourth string, second fret, fifth string, first fret, and second fret on the sixth string. So now I'm gonna go back up. So let's pretend I just, just finished the exercise, so I'm here. What's gonna happen is now my first finger, we're gonna swap spots. I'm gonna put my first finger on the sixth string at the first fret, and then fifth string, second fret with my second finger, fourth string, third, second string, first. Okay, so here's the whole thing. All right, so what we're gonna do next is we're gonna use our second grouping of fingers, so my second and my third, and it's exactly the same kind of idea that we just did. And again, I'm going fast because I'm just demonstrating here. Okay, and then my third and my fourth finger, doing the same kind of thing. All right, variation three. This is exactly the same as what we just did, but here's the catch. What's happening this time is 
I don't move my finger off of it, the previous string until it's that finger's turn. So, in other words, first finger, second finger, and now, only now, do I move that first finger till it's spot. My second one is still staying put. So in other words, I'm not lifting these guys off as I'm going. I'm waiting until it's that finger's turn. And then, Okay, and then. And again, don't worry if it doesn't sound pretty. It's about the movement. All right, and just a little pro tip for you here. If you're doing a finger exercise or really playing anything on the guitar and it's it's kind of messing with your hand, it's hurting a bit, or I don't know, you're getting some, some wrist pain or, or whatever it happens to be, I recommend that you stop and um, maybe reevaluate that. Like, like, is that working for you? Um, because definitely you don't want to be experiencing pain of any kind. So there you go. There's two really great finger exercises and three variations that I have shown to literally hundreds of students. Uh, something I forgot to mention, you don't have to always play the exercises down here at the first fret. Feel free to move them up if, if you find somewhere like maybe the fifth fret is better for you then by all means go right ahead and I would recommend uh, doing that anyhow because not everything is always down here. Smaller frets of course can present different challenges for your hand as well. It kind of got to squish those fingers in there a little bit. Um, so that's always a great thing to do as well. Now there are literally thousands and thousands of different finger exercises out there. I mean for every problem, every technique, every hiccup that we encounter in our guitar playing, we can make a finger exercise for that. And I encourage you to do that as well. Please leave me some comments. Let me know how you made out. Um, also, I, I would love to hear what are your favorite finger exercises to do. Until next time, I'm Sean.